You want to try this, Ethan? It's supposed to be, uh, well, they say it's the exact same uh, size and weight as an ice hockey puck. But it, like, slides a little better? It slides a little better, but not as, like, good as a biscuit like that. Yeah, yeah, but you probably don't break it every Yeah, like, I already chipped it a little bit, but, like... Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, look, what a shot. All right, what's going on guys? I'm back at Kiwi Park and today I'm just gonna be going over the Xeno Puck. Now the Xeno Puck is basically an off-ice training puck. They say it's the exact same um, height and weight, which looking at it looks like the exact same height. I haven't actually weighed it myself, but just feeling it feels the exact same weight. Um, the only thing that doesn't have the grip on the side is like a normal puck, this is smooth. This has grip, this is a normal puck. But so far, I, I've been using it for about two weeks. I'm, I'm liking it so far, so I'm just gonna talk about it today. So first off, I'm gonna be using both the Xeno puck and the regular puck on my hockey shot tiles. I'm gonna give a little comparison there. Then I'm gonna put on my roller blades and I'm gonna shoot around with the Xeno puck and all the different green biscuits. I've got the stick handling one, the snipe, the, I believe this is called the sauce, and this is the roller biscuit. I'm gonna compare all four of these to the Xeno puck. So let's get to it. Bam, look at that. All right, so I got the towels here, nets over there. So this is the Xeno puck, the lighter one, gray. And this is obviously the normal puck. First we bought from Canadian Tire. Yeah, this one, it does feel a lot more rubbery than this one. This one feels like just kind of sliding off your blade and it has a, uh, a different pingy noise you can hear that in the video Between my dusty hands and not having any grip, this is a bit harder to control than the tiles. But besides the feel, yeah, it does feel like the same weight. It's just with the puck, you have an extra feel to it with the grip on the side. Alright, so use both of these on the hockey shot tiles. Gotta say they feel the same in terms of like the weight and the size. They feel exactly the same. It's just I really wish they had a little bit of grip. Like even the green biscuit roller puck, it has a bit of grip on this side, just like a regular puck. So I wish they had that for um shooting accuracy. But besides that, I really love it. Almost can't tell the difference. It's got a bit more pinginess to it too, which I actually like. But now we're gonna go on my roller blades and I'm gonna be shooting on the pavement with this and comparing it to the other green biscuits. So let's get to it. All right, Xeno Puck. Have you tried the cattling with this thing? Oh yeah, right. It does not, it does not uh, glide as nice. I think it's meant for like a sport court. All right, so the major difference between the Xeno Puck and the Biscuits is that this is, well, at least I recommend off-ice training, just having fun. That's like the big distinct comparison here. So comparing the Xeno Puck to the stick handling and saucing Biscuit, again, if you're on a rougher surface, it's, this is not gonna slide as good as these would. But again, like I said, this is for fun. Obviously this is, you know, for fun, just tossing with your buddies. This does not have grip, but this does. This is a lot lighter. Like I said, this is um, same weight as a puck. So again, yeah, just, this is for off ice. This is for having fun. And then comparing the Xeno puck to the snipe and roller biscuit. Again, the both snipe and the roller biscuit have grips on the side. 
and even though they're not going to slide as nice as the stick handling and sauce one these would still slide on very rough surface as this would not but in terms of training um i actually would prefer this if you're on a smooth um outdoor court like a smooth concrete court with a roof on top so it remains like you know nice and dry and smooth because if you do get used to this and then you go back to ice hockey using a puck it's going to feel the puck's going to feel a lot heavier so yeah i do suggest this for off ice training so in a nutshell i love this for off ice training again i'm gonna sound like a broken record but same weight and uh, height as a puck so you get that true feel um i wish they had a uh, grip on the side like like these ones so you can actually um have better accurate shots and it'll definitely definitely feel like a puck personally i don't see myself using this as much because if i am playing roller hockey it's not for training it's just a um, pickup with some buddies so I would still be using these a lot more than this, but I would recommend this to anyone who wants to improve their game in the off season. If they're really into ice hockey and they don't play roller hockey, then yeah, this is the puck to go to. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. Uh, Zeno, if you're seeing this, I love this invention. I can see where you're going with this. Just the only thing, I wish you guys had grip on the side. Just that's the only thing. If you guys had that, I think you would have the perfect off ice training puck. So thank you again and see you in the next one.